Top 5 Chains to Eat at in Japan. Many people come to Japan and, when looking for a cheap meal, end up going to a convenience store or Western fast food chain like McDonald's because it just seems easier. Well, did you know that Japan has its own easy to use restaurant chains with English menus and very relaxed atmosphere? They're often serving food for less than fast food restaurants and open 24 hours a day just like convenience stores. And most importantly, they do great cheap versions of Japanese dishes, making them big hits with local workers and families who just want a quick, relaxed meal. It's also normal that they'll offer water or green tea free of charge, so they're perfect for a hot day or if you're just not too picky about choosing a specific drink. My suggestions on this list are all available in pretty much all of the country, including beautiful Hokkaido up in the north, and are chosen from my own opinion and also working as a sort of pseudo tour guide for a little while for both Japanese friends and foreign tourists. And no, none of them have seating charges, I promise. But anyway, here's my personal top five, and I'll put the shop signs on screen so you can memorize them for your visit. Number five, Yoshinoya. Yoshinoya is known around most of the world and is great for simple meals. You may even have it in your own country. In Japan, ordering is done at the table and they do have English menus. They're great for breakfast, especially fish and egg dishes, in my opinion. Well worth checking out. Number four, sushi roll. Sushi roll mainly deals in sushi, as the name would suggest, but as with most chains, they have reached outside of their speciality and do many side dishes and soups as well. Sushi roll offer a wide range of types of sushi with an English touchscreen ordering system and table menu, so you'll always be sure about what you're getting. Most dishes are generously sized and mostly cost 100 yen, so you can get nice and full on 7 or 800 yen basically. The Japanese sushi conveyor experience is also a lot of fun for tourists to enjoy. Unfortunately, though, Sushi Row is the only option on this list that doesn't actually open 24 7 from what I've seen, but they open very long hours anyway, so you're probably not going to be turned away. Number three, Matsuya. Matsuya is actually very similar to Yoshinoya in most ways, although the sign is less obvious to foreigners, meaning it often gets overlooked. Even the decor is similar to Yoshinoya. I'd say Matsuya has a slightly larger menu, more meat dishes, but can be a little bit more expensive, maybe. I would, however, argue that I do think the quality is just that little tiny bit higher than Yoshinoya, in my opinion. This really does come down to opinion, though, so I'm going to put it here at number three on my personal list. Tell me what you think. Number two, Sukiya. Sukiya has a wide ranging menu, but primarily fames itself for its Japanese style curry, a very popular dish here. The curry comes in a range of heats and sizes, but even the mega sized curry, which is genuinely huge, will leave you changed from a thousand yen. Sukiya also has decent side menu options and loads of other meals too, and I found many people impressed with the quality of their meat dishes, especially. When having a busy day out with friends, if we have walked past Sukiya's many branches, we almost always stop there and say, yeah, it's time for lunch. Unless, of course, we're close to number one. Number one, Nakao. Nakao is my favourite for visitors or locals and also a hidden gem due to their non English sign, but you will start noticing a lot more if you memorise this sign now. The menu is massive and you can order at machines upon walking in, which have a wide range of languages and make it very easy if you're worried about communicating with staff. Service is super quick and friendly, and they specialize in noodle dishes, rice dishes, curries, and have a side menu that gives you a massive option s to construct your own meal, should you wish. For example, a large bowl of rice and 10 pieces of karage, which is Japanese style fried chicken, will cost you only 470 yen, as I'm recording this in 2019. There are some voices who talk down about Nako, but I think it's pretty much due to price, and the cheapest is often spoken badly about in most industries. To give you an example, pretty much the exact same chicken that I just mentioned is twice the price in even the cheapest supermarkets, and obviously, Not served hot and it doesn't taste any better. Nako has much better food than any of the fast food restaurants, in my opinion, and often a selection that can help any first time and get really used to Japanese cuisine, and can offer a Japanese resident a simple, reliable meal and a generous portion size. Go to any Nako at lunchtime and it'll be 80% full, and with good reason, but even if it was 100% full, they do do takeaway. There's something for any taste, in my opinion, and so it sits at number one on my list. If you see Nako, I wholly recommend you try it. You walk away full with a good taste and still plenty of money left in your wallet. Anyway, thank you for watching. These are my opinions, but what are yours? Do you have any recommendations or maybe advice for vegetarians? Let me know. Like this video if you want and subscribe if you're a really wonderful person. Again, in my opinion.